Lee Harris. Lee, you're going to love this question over at Limestone Title. Christmas holidays behind us, of course, but not forgotten. Stephanie sent us an email with an unusual problem. Stephanie says she waited until after Christmas to send the email because down the street, her neighbor went nuts this year, filling up the entire lawn with inflatables. You know what those are, right? Those are those yes. blow up things, right? She, <laughs> yep. she, she writes, they were tacky and an eyesore. And she's wondering if there is no homeowner association in her neighborhood. How could she make sure that next year she doesn't have to see these inflatables? Can she report the homeowners to the city? And I have some follow-up information. So Lee, legally, is there anything that okay. a homeowner can do? Uh, Stephanie, I, I think my best answer is you're going to have to drive a different way if you don't want to see them, because unless there is some city ordinance that says you can't have something in your yard that's higher than a certain uh, height, or, or my, my my best friend has a Santa Claus that's higher than her roof. She loves it. Oh. Um, I think it's crazy. <laughs> it's huge. Um, but she uh, she unless there's some city ordinance, which I doubt there is because it's a temporary thing and, you know, they're, they're inflatables and they're Christmas decorations and, you know, but without an HOA that says you can't put certain things up, you're probably not going to have a lot of luck getting any, anybody to take any action on that. Plus you'll be labeled a Scrooge. Right. In, in you know, the, like the neighborhood. <laughs> so th this is a thing folks. And you, who, those of us listening to us may have an opinion on this, a recent Instagram poll of homeowners, 21.4% of those responding said they loved holiday inflatables, but in a surprising 77 plus percent said they were tacky in another, <laughs> no, really. Wow. So there you go. 